Welcome back. The Java heap is the area of memory which is used to store objects. It is created when JVM starts up. In this video, we will take a look to different ways by which we can capture heap dumps. Before moving further, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to web logic administration and SOA development. Let's get back to the topic. In this video, we will see five different ways to capture heap dump. Let's see the first one. So this is the most popular way to capture a heap dump using jmap. And the command is jmap hyphen dump colon format equal to b where b stands for binary. And you can also mention the name of file. And in last, we'll have to mention process ID for that. So let us see. So first we'll have to identify process ID. For that you can run ps command. And we are going to find process ID for OSB server. And uh, here you can see it is 11309. Now let us run jmap command. So there can be multiple variants for jmap. So first is jmap hyphen dump colon live. When we mention live, it is going to collect the garbage and then it will capture the heap dump. So there can be requirement where you want to first collect the garbage and then collect the heap dump. So for that you can run this command. And as you can see, we have mentioned file path. And you can see the extension of heap dump is hprof which stands for heap profile and here we have our process id that is double one three zero nine so hit enter and now it is capturing heap dump so our heap dump has been captured and you can find it to the mentioned path that is u01 dumps and we are already inside this directory let's list this and you can see we have our heap dump here now when you go to visual gc you can see what was the last cause for the heap dump and you can see it is initiated by heap dump it is clearly mentioned here and you can also see we are going to have another garbage collection and uh, it is allocation failure so when you give live option uh, it will force the garbage collection to collect it and it will then capture the heap dump what if you don't want to collect the garbage and uh, capture the heap dump in that case you can run this command uh, it won't collect the garbage and capture the heap dump it is simply capture the current state of heap so let's see that so it says file already exists so we'll remove the previous file and let's run the command again and now it is dumping the heap and our heap dump has been created you can see and when you see this in the visual vm you can see allocation failure was the last cause for garbage collection so this is the difference between these two methods now if you wonder how we can open a process id in visual vm and check the garbage collection you can check out my another video the link is in the i button if you are getting any error while running jmap command uh, you can forcefully run that command giving minus f uh, this is the syntax for jmap uh, here we have minus f option for the forceful capture and the uh, rest of the things will be the same let's see the next method that is jcmd this is the syntax for jcmd and you'll have to give process id and the output file name as a parameter so let's see that in action here also we get two options we can run this with full gc and without full gc so this variant is with full gc if you run this command you'll have to pass your process id here and uh, this is the path where we want to capture so let's hit enter and it is capturing the heap dump and when you see this in visual vm you can see the last cause for heap dump is heap dump initiated gc so it is forcefully doing the garbage collection before creating heap dump so our heap dump has been captured and you can see it here 
in the mentioned path. We'll remove this heap term. And uh, this is the way where you can capture the heap dump without forcing garbage collection. For that, you'll have to give minus all and uh, it will capture the heap dump without forcing garbage collection. Let's hit enter and it is collecting heap dump again. And we will verify in the visual VM. You can see last cause is allocation failure. So, forceful garbage collection did not happen. So here our heap dump has been created successfully. You can list it. And this is the heap dump we have. Next method to capture heap dump is Java arguments. So you can mention these arguments in the startup and capture the heap dump whenever you are getting out of memory error in the logs. So let's see this one. So you'll have to log in into weblogic server then you can go to servers. And here you can go to OSB1 server or whatever server you want to put that argument. Inside configuration, you can go to server start. And here in the arguments, you can mention this argument. So let's take a lock and you can put these arguments here. So, first argument is heap dump on out of memory error. And uh, here we have our path where you want to capture the heap dump. So this is the most recommended and ideal scenario where you want to capture the heap dump. You can save this, activate changes. And once your changes are activated, you can restart this server to make it work. Let us see the next method that is G core and JMF. So you can capture a core dump uh, that is captured for uh, additional OS level details. In the core dump, you will also capture a stake uh, along with heap. So it is a superset of heap dump. You can capture heap dump from a core dump. So this is the method where we are going to capture a heap dump from our core dump. So to capture core dump, you can run gcore command and you'll have to give process ID. So let's see that. So this is the command and here we have our process ID. So let's run this. It is going to take a bit longer because it captures additional details which we don't have in heap dump. So our code dump has been created, you can see. So let's check it. And here we have our code dump. Uh, you can see the size of code dump is a bit more. And out of this core dump, now you can create a heap dump. So this method is useful when you get the core dump from other teams or someone else and you wanted to create or capture heap dump out of it. You can simply run this jmap command to do the same. I have mentioned all these commands in Git repository and the link is added in the description. So don't forget to check that link. Let's see the last way to get a heap dump as part of this video that is using Visual VM. So let's see it. So we are inside Visual VM. This is Visual GC tab. You'll have to go to monitor and you'll have to click heap dump. And now it is creating a heap dump. You can see. So it is loading heap dump. And you can see the heap dump here. You can also save this heap dump from here. For that, you'll have to right click here and you can save it. And uh, we are going to save this in our U01 dumps. And you can see this is the heap dump which we save. So, as part of this video, we have seen different ways to capture heap dump. If you found this video helpful, please like my video, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification. Don't forget to leave a comment so that I can bring a different topic for you. Thank you.